Good morning everyone and welcome to another video by Russia UK. Okay, so what are you looking at currently? This is the new Ola app. Well, it's not the new Ola app, this is the Ola app and on this video, what we're gonna do is actually run through step by step every functionality that is available to us currently. So um, we're gonna start right from the beginning and you could see, firstly, we've got a notification there saying payment successful, 26 pound O2 transferred into your account. Now that basically means Uber pays you on a daily basis. And in the morning, they'll tell you what's gonna be transferred from yesterday um, for today's bank. So I've done £26 yesterday and hopefully um, this afternoon that will be paid into my account. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're seeing there. So I'll cross that off first. Right, let's even turn it off. Right, let's start from the beginning, right? Firstly, what's the first thing you could see there? Yes, you got an app, unlike Uber, which doesn't lie to you. And you might be saying, what do you mean it doesn't lie to you? It's not telling you that you need to go to a different area because you know there's more jobs available down there or opportunity of, um, nearby there's none of that that basically means from the uber's book that you know we need you to go to the other area because there's too many of you here and also at the same time it doesn't tell you you're in a busy area you know you need to stay here because there's less drivers here but doesn't guarantee nothing so this is an app which doesn't lie like an uber app so that's a lot more refreshing it's more cluster free uh, more presentation or right so what we're gonna do now is actually turn the app on so we're gonna get rid of this thing here and we're gonna press the car button now that simply means you could change the vehicle you're driving so obviously I'm driving a prime sedan so basically that means um, Uber X. Um, obviously, I'm not sure what they call the um, people carrier, but you know you'll have a list there um, of the vehicles you're entitled to drive, and you could apply it. So I'm going to press apply that, and I'm going to be congratulated into choosing that. There you go. Right. So that's that button there. If you want to change your vehicles, um, we're going to go into the middle button and switch it on and there you are you are actually live um on the site right next to that is what they call if you can see there go to button now i'm not going to press that now because that basically uh is equivalent to your uber destination button your home button in uber and when you press that your address comes in and that's the reason i'm not showing you that and you press go and what that does is gives you 41 minutes um to get a job that way now it's nowhere near good as uber's one i mean i've been using this about three four weeks now um and i haven't even had one job going my way so you know not very fond of that next to that we got the bell now that is basically your notification button so if you were to press that there and uh what you could see there is our partner care ticket now that's basically when you ring uh, Ola up and they assign a ticket uh, system and every time um, a concern is aroused or um, you know you wanted to say something to them they issue with a care ticket and if you were to press that there you go you'll tell you all about it I talked to that person and all that sort of thing and you could even rate them as well also this is a place where you find your notification about your rewards or whatever um, Ola is doing this is the place it is so let's move on from that one there right i'm hoping i could get a job so i could show you how you cancel jobs as well at the same time now the, when the job appears it it covers half the screen which is a bit of a shame really because it, it doesn't actually show you where the pickup point is um and so and it's same as uber you get the time element how long it's going to take you to get to that destination the distance um element where um how far it is and obviously there's a surge there as well and that basically means you know what if you, if you did get got the job on surge what it is if 1.1 1.2 whatever it is it doesn't surge nowhere near or as much 
or you get that much job on surge than uber system itself so quite disappointed in that sort of thing right let's move on to a few other things um now when you actually get a job this is quite important actually um obviously showing you the time the distance and the surge rate whatever it is but the best thing out of this uh, ola system is actually shows you where the passenger is actually going and this alone just outstrips uber's platform straight away now it's very very beneficial at the same time for experienced drivers because end of the day it doesn't matter by me showing you where the passengers is going if you exactly don't know what that area is and some of these destinations just could say basically a name of a road so you know you've got to be fairly experienced and this does fall into uh, well the advantages more f for more experienced drivers so that is a, a brilliant uh, functions that ola has and it outstrips uber in one go uh the navigation now uber wins here uh, ola has a third party navigation um uh, navigator so of the likes of google and everything where uber has his own navigation which you can use on this you actually once you press uh navigate and, and that's another thing you don't actually have to press navigate you actually navigate it yourself so you does it automatically which i'm not very fond of because half the time i don't use the navigate i don't want to know well i don't need to know where people are going because i know where they're going and um you know but this starts the uh, uh, automatic navigation for you so it, it is good for some people i'm presuming they at the same time um okay let's let's carry on with this um video more okay so where else have we got we got an arrow button there okay and you must be saying what is that oh, let's find out this is what this video is all about i'll press that and it shows you peak zones and i'm not sure what that peak zone is i mean it's got some sort of um you know indicator telling you how hot it is or how cold it is and if i go out does that resemble anything no so it's not that there's a off button as well uh which you could press and that probably disables the pig zones <laughs> uh, don't know what pig zone you know let's put it back on again i mean as far as i know this could be something to do with surge and you know i might have just turned the surge and not get any search pro, uh, jobs but then again you might ask well why have it then he's like no one here no driver in the right one's going to turn the surge indicator off okay now yeah you, we got another button there can you see that one there it's like a target bullseye button there let's see what that is and that basically is a gps locator now obviously if you was um running this on a back of a um, other apps that, you, that you're running on your phone the actual gps lags behind so you could bring it all back together by just pressing simply that okay so what else have we got okay we got the booking button there let's press the booking buttons yes the booking button is basically the home button you know they probably need to rename that there's no bookings there whatsoever okay let's move on to the next button okay the next button is accounts let's do account buttons let's see what that brings up okay so this brings up an account summary and we'll run it in depth again this is what this video is about let's press the current balance the current balance is basically what i've earned today so far can you see that seven pound so this is basically saying how much at this point of time ola owes me seven pound now that would change a lot more if i was say was working on sunday morning and the money hasn't been transferred over to my account uh for the weekend now quickly i'll say that again we ola pays every day so you work today you get paid tomorrow now what it doesn't do is pay you daily at the weekend so anything you earn on a friday saturday sunday gets paid on a monday uh, uh, the following monday so that current balance what they owe you will be a lot more you know if you was viewing this on a monday morning right and if you look at button down there you'll just tell you what's been transferred into my uh, account 26 pound uh, from yesterday and it gives you basically 
a rundown of all the account jobs and everything on a daily basis. Right, let's go back again. Let's see, let's go and see today's payment. And so this is what they will pay me today, £26. Can you see that? Which I showed you at the beginning of the video. So this is quite annoying as well at the same time. They don't, they don't seem to like the decimal points for some reason. They rather tell you a fare is, uh, if a fare is £28.78, they'll say you got paid £28. You know, they miss out the 78p, whatever it is. <clears throat> now, this is quite annoying at the same time as well. Um, because end of the day, they could easily just put that in anyway. But don't be afraid. You know, they do pay you up to every single decimal point. So, um, if we were to go there. Right. Okay, so can you see that? Right, let's go back again. Right, okay, so we've done the today's payment, what they're paying us to today. Um, today, that should just show I've done one pound, and, uh, and it's, it's a nine pound job. And there's a cancellation. Yes, Ola does pay cancellation fee as well. Can you see that? So today I've done um, a four pound job and a three pound job, which comes to seven pound. Right, it's nine pound on their end and seven pound on my end after their commission. So that's that. That's that. What it is. Right. So we've done that. Uh, okay. Let's go to net earning by day. So on this functionality, I'll just tell you what I've earned on a daily basis. So whatever you've worked, you can see it goes from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday. So it's got about seven days. So it's got about a week's data on there, what you've earned over the week. And you can see how much I've been earning. £7, £75, and £48, £38, £56. Now, I've been concentrating hard just to do this video. So the earnings for Ola are not brilliant currently. But you know something? Nor was Ubers when they first started. If anything, you know, what you're seeing there on a daily rate is probably more than what I was earning with Uber on a daily rate. So... You know, we, 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 can't, we can't knock it yet. Next to that, we got the bank transfer by day. So if we were to press that, now this will basically show you how on a daily basis, how much has been transferred into my account. And this is what I was saying to you. Can you see there? Thursday's got paid, Friday's got paid. After Friday, I got paid on Wednesday. That's, that's I mean, I, I should have got paid on a Monday, but because it's the bank holiday and everything, I got paid the week after. And can you see the huge amount there? Yes, 219 pounds. So the weekend ones are the bumper ones. You know, you get paid heavily on them sort of things. Right, so let's on move on to the next screen as well. Okay, so the next screen is what they call rewards. Okay, let's press the reward button. Now, the reward button there is quite disappointing, actually, because I'm not sure how it works. This is, I've been getting this all the time. You know, you would have thought it might be to do with some sort of a reward or some incentives, anything like that, but nothing on it yet. Uh, scheme history, can you see? <laughs> no reward for me, is there? Right, so the reward button, which is located there. I do like this layout. You know, this is a proper layout. This is the old Uber layout. Nice, simple. You know, you got the tabs at the bottom, you know. It is nice. I do like that. Okay, let's go to refer. Now, this is is the code you would give someone if you if they wanted to join. Now, under your referral code. Now, let let me repeat that. This code here, which you got it. Can you see there? Right, that would pay another driver hundred pound if they used your code there. Now, this is different. Now, this is the important part I'm trying to say to you. This is different if you were to give, give this code to friends or families where they could get uh, free rides um, and also 50% discounts. But I'll run that through another video. I want to keep this more app related. Um, and so that's the code you'd give them. Uh, not, not, not to your family, sorry. To fellow drivers who want to join Ola and not to your friends or families or other people. Now, obviously, the way, the most uh, popular way they do this is you give your referral code to someone, uh, friends of yours, and what they do in return is give you 50 pound back because you're getting 100 pound and you 
uh, basically dividing uh, between yourself. Now, if you can, if you use my referral code here, I'm not going to give anything to you because you know why? Because if I get anyone referring and I got the hundred pound, I want to give that hundred pound to charity. And if you use the code, just direct message me and I'll give you the proof uh, what I've done with your hundred pound. So it's a nice way to give something back, you know, 50 pound. That's all you're going to lose out by giving to me. And but the rewards is a lot more because obviously I'm giving it to charity and in return you're giving it to charity. And so if you want to do that, that's that's always there for you. Right. Let's move on to the next thing which is the last button there more okay so this is your managing your profile from this button right okay firstly when you press that more button your profile profile picture comes up and also the rating and you can see my rating is 4.99 with Ola actually that's quite funny actually because that is exactly the same as I'll with my uber account 4.99 so you could say there i haven't been mistreating these passengers by any stretch of the imagination if anything actually you have you have a lot more fun with um older passengers but again i'll go into that in a different video further down uh, the more section from your profile you could change your bank account details um, and your personal documents car documents so all that is done through this section here my advice has always been and always will remain mainly because I'm so rubbish at it I can't upload if I did it gets rejected so always go to the hub or the offices of Ola if you want anything done like that uh, stroll further down you, it gives you a section where you could communicate with them uh, well it tells them which way you want to communicate with them through email or SMS and phone communication so you could turn that on off whichever way you prefer uh, there's loads of legal information privacy policy which you can read and um, see where they're based and everything and I could tell you now they're not based in the UK or not you know uh, but that's a different story we might get back onto that some other time so this section is all about that from my profile so we go back to the main um, page here and if you press uh, partner care this actually shows you the previous communications you've had with uh, older themselves and basically you can see there you know the ticket I was showing you right at the beginning um, which I raised and that's been open there's no so I've got no open issues and uh, one that is open has been solved so that is that there there's other things you could talk to you about there how to become an um, how to drive with Ola booking related customer related app related you know there's nothing really um, you know beneficial I could go really rather than just waste your time really so um you know you could, you could see there you know if you want to raise issues saying uh, you know this is where you do all that from uh that is from your partner care side of uh the ola app and press back again you're onto this screen again to back to the manage profile if you wanted to go to settings um i don't think that works actually yeah you're saying your ola app is up to date how brilliant is that okay and let's go back again and if we go back you could exit ola so if you press that that actually gets rid of ola all together uh, you could go back on to it and it's uploading again and i'm going to put myself back on again go to more and they've got the emergency button there as well if you want to do call the police for whatever reason but that is also displayed on the journey as well so you could call the police while you're well, any ambulance or emergency services uh, there as well so this is it really and I hope um, it's been quite comprehensive uh, but obviously early days for Ola yet I'll do other videos following other related stuff to do with Ola but I hope you enjoy this one which just gave you a good in-depth uh, functionality and um, the look and feel of what's inside the actual app, how it's built and everything. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye now.